Those young hunters we met were all able to recover their deer, but that doesn't always happen. Jeremy Moore is with dogbonehunter.com. Now Jeremy's a dog trainer and he trains what he calls deer dogs. Now we can't hunt deer with dogs in Wisconsin, right. so what do you mean by deer dog? Right, when we're talking deer dogs, what we're doing is we're using traditional retrievers and not necessarily all retrievers, but sporting dog breeds. We're using them to help us out with our whitetail hunting. We use them for shed hunting in the spring mm -hmm. and we'll use them in the fall for what we call game recovery. Now, what kind of dogs are these? They look like labs. They're English labs. They're British labs. A little bit smaller dog, but it's my personal preference. I like their temperament, their disposition, and the natural traits that they have really are conducive to what we're doing with them. Retrieving shed antlers, tracking deer. I know guys who do this with shepherds, beagles, spaniels, pointing dogs. Certainly don't have to have labs. The thing about labs is, again, it's preference. It's my personal preference. It fits my training style. What we do is we go about it and we try to simplify it. Let's not overcomplicate the process. I think a lot of guys are intimidated by the idea of it's so many steps involved. When you start talking game recovery especially, a lot of that is natural hunt in that dog. It's conditioning, scent discrimination. What does it smell like that's gonna get them the reward? So that's how we build that in in our training process. We introduce them to things early on, but then we're gonna get them into the field towards the later part of the training, not the experience, and they're gonna pick that up really, really quickly. Now you had a successful hunt with your son just um, a couple weeks ago during the youth hunt, Yeah, right? we did. Yeah, Mason was able to shoot, he's 11 years old, he was able to shoot actually a second buck. And we've got a pup here this simmer, is actually we put her on that track. It was her first recovery. Great example of an opportunity where it was a gun hunt. So what we had was we had a real simple track. It was about a 40 yard track and the deer expired right away. Those are great opportunities to take young dogs out on their first tracks because we guarantee success. I know we're gonna find that deer. It builds confidence in the dog and it also builds confidence in me as a handler. Now what's the law in Wisconsin? Wisconsin is a leashed tracking state, which means you gotta have the dog on a leash and you have to have them in control at all times. It eliminates the risk of, and the argument of, well, you're gonna use those dogs to hunt. That's not what we're doing. We're recovering game and that's just finding wounded animals. I think that right now there's 27 states that have some form of legal tracking, whether it be leashed or off leash. Well, Jeremy, can you carry a firearm when you're tracking? Not in Wisconsin, you know, and again, it's different states have different rules. Within Wisconsin, while you're on the track recovering with a dog, you can't have a weapon with you. We try to use our website and our social media, but we use it as an informational thing. So we try to put a lot of training tips, we try to put a lot of training resources. So we really use our website and our social media as you know, a training asset for, for people to check out. It's a conservation tool and that's what we really wanna drive home.